are back with everybody's favorite football series, Five Star vs. One Star, the series where we find out the real talent difference between a five star recruit and a one star recruit. So, jumping straight into it, today's one star corner is none other than DeAndre Beasley Jr. coming out of Lee Summit North High School. DeAndre is a 5'11, 180 pound corner who is the 54th best player in Missouri and the 166th best corner in the country. And in his junior year, he had 40 total tackles with four pass breakups and two interceptions. And he's going to be going up against today's five star corner, which is none other than Cormani McClain coming out of Lakeland High School. Kermani is a 6'1 and a half, 165 pound corner who is the best player in Florida, the best corner in the country, and the third best player nationally. And in his junior year, he had 29 total tackles with 14 pass breakups and six interceptions. So be sure to leave this video a like, comment down below what position you guys want to see me cover next in the five star versus one star series. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you never miss when we be dropping these fire videos. And let's jump straight into it and see what really separates a five star corner from a one star corner. Three, two, all right, let's first take a look at our five-star corner, Cormani McLean, so we know what to compare our one-star corner, DeAndre Beasley, to. All right, I've seen Cormani McLean's highlight tape. This dude is one of the most pure corners in the country. I mean, he's so patient. He baits quarterbacks better than I've seen a lot of corners, and I've been covering corners for a minute now. He is so, so patient. He has textbook film quality, teaching tape quality technique. Like, this dude is just... He keeps every he keeps every receiver on his hip. He just is patient. He doesn't bite on anything. I mean, look at this, bro. Literally, this dude runs an in. He just stays deep, reads the quarterback's eyes, drops back. Give me that easy pick. Like, like the game is just smooth for him. There's a reason why he's not just the number one corner in the country, but he's the third best recruit in the class. Like, he legit is one of the most talented corners I've seen. Period. I mean, just look at this, man. Like, he's just sitting on this the whole time. So I see so many corners. They would get to right here, and they would just start bailing. They'd open up their hips real wide and just start bailing. He knows, okay, they're probably going to be trying to go for the first down. So all he does, just stays slightly open, keeps shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. As soon as he passes six, breaks on that, he's on that. Where are you going? Nope. Ain't going nowhere. Breaks on that. Easy. All my young corners out there, if you're trying to find somebody to, to watch their highlight tape on how to get better, watch Komani McClain. Watch, watch any of his highlight tapes. This dude is one of the most technical corners I've ever covered, period. I mean, look how he smoothly just transitions to that guy, breaks that up with ease. And you know, you can play a little bit of receiver too, it's showing off the wheels. I mean, he just stays low. He stays low and he's patient. I think that's one of the that's one of the more underrated uh, traits of a really good corner is their patience. A lot of corners, if you're out there and you're just you're constantly opening up your hips way too early because you're just afraid that a guy's gonna burn you over the top. That's how you that's how you just get absolutely torched underneath. You've got to be patient. You've got to, you've got to wait for the receiver to make his actual move and then you jump on it. Sitting on that, just sitting on it, easy. And then he also gives you some solid speed as well. Oh, right place, right time, right place, right time. I hit it with a little. I hit it with a little salsa. Oh, got him! Actually, he really didn't get him, but the speed is gonna get him. I point that easy. Okay, sure, he can make it lay a hit as well. Quarterback, where you going? I mean, just look at the technique, man. Perfect back pedal, stays low, keeps the feet moving, opens up the hips until the last second, and then just runs with them, undercuts it, breaks up easy. Like I said, Kormani McLean, the video I made on him, I called him the perfect corner. To me, he is, I, I would like to see him put on a little bit more weight just so he doesn't get, just, uh, just doesn't get bumped around by the bigger wide receivers. But other than that, I mean, he's got the bunnies, he's got the speed, he's got the length. Like, this dude, to me, is as close as you can get to a perfect high school corner. 
And now that you've seen what a five-star corner looks like, now let's see what a one-star corner is looking like in DeAndre Beasley Jr. So that we can compare and see what the real talent difference is. All right, going over the top, getting you one pick real, real smooth-like. There you go. Teammate kind of sold for you right there. Those uniforms are lit too, the two-tone. All right, let's see what he's looking like. Oh, way to run with them, just way to run with them. Break it up. I can already tell you off the rip, the hip fluidity is something, is something that you gotta work on a little bit. Oh, go, go get after the punter, go get after the punter. Yo, where are you going? Punter, play to self. Play to self and safety. Oh, you, oh, oh never, yeah, I don't think you can do a safety on. Actually, yeah, you can do a safety on, on a punt. I could definitely tell he's more physical than Komani though. His, his tackling is way more physical. Wait, just, they just knocked the hand out of the way. There you go, nice hit. Does a really good job of keeping the play in front of him. I want to see what he's looking like out in space, though. Okay, uh, let's see what he's looking like in coverage. There you go. Just, just body him out of the bounds. Okay, so so something like this right here. This is this is a, one of the biggest areas that you're gonna have to work on right here. Your ability to be able to go from a back pedal to either stopping your feet or being able to go forward, but then immediately fall back. Cause look at how, it, it, don't get me wrong, it's not bad. It's just not as smooth as it needs to be. You're, you're in your back pedal, you're nice and low, and then you kind of get out of it. You still, you do a good job of staying in front of them, but that just needs to be quicker. Like the footwork isn't the issue, it's just quickening all that up. There you go. Hey, just nice and smooth, staying patient, just waiting for the play to develop in front of you, and then just run with them. Hey, DeAndre, you nice out here, bro. I got, I gotta say, you nice out here. Just keep on running with them. See, to me, I, I mean, that was that's what really surprised me about Cormani's highlight tape is he. It's just so easy to see why he's the top dude because his coverage is just elite. It's really hard to evaluate high school corners because normally they don't throw to high, like really good high school corners. And it's like, if you're doing a good job of really just locking them up, like they're just, like they're just simply not gonna throw to your side. So that is what a five-star corner in Cormani McLean and a one-star corner in DeAndre Beasley Jr. are looking like on the field. To me, the biggest difference between the two is the patience and then just the overall play speed. Cormani is a much more patient and he just, he plays the game a lot faster than DeAndre does. Don't get me wrong, DeAndre has a lot of the same tools and characteristics that Cormani does. You know, he, he plays very physical, like I'm, he's able to help in the run support game. He does a good job of waiting to the last second to really open up his hips. It's just the footwork needs to speed up a little bit on top of that just getting overall faster and then working on the bunnies that's going to help you as well for those pass breakups and then just learning how to stay patient where you know how where and when to give wide receivers their space so that they can kind of just like okay if i know it's third and ten i know that they're probably going to be running some route to the sticks and then they're going to be making their move so any move before that i can really just kind of just sit back on that and just be like all right like i'm just going to see what the what the play is going to be in front of me and then as soon as he passes the sticks all right that's where i need to really start paying attention because whatever move he makes from now is probably going to be the move that he's actually going to be making deandre i would personally have you ranked as like a two and a half to three star corner so 24 7 sports has you ranked as a two star corner so i would have you in that range right there it just really is going up with the comp Competition that you're going up against but if you continue to work on that on your overall play speed just getting faster getting the footwork faster watching more film so that you just know how to 
be more relaxed when you're playing when you're playing the game so it's like oh, okay i know they're gonna try and throw a, a corner over uh, behind my head so i'm just gonna act like i don't see it and then just bail you're, you'll be able to get more picks i think watching film and doing overall speed training are gonna be two things that are gonna help you out a ton and then cormani keep on doing your thing my guy to me like i said i've seen your highlight day before you to me you're the closest thing to a perfect corner i mean like i said you might want to put on a little bit more weight they're gonna do that for you in college it's gonna be easy but yeah like i said you you're the number three player in the country for a reason but on here from y'all comment down below what you guys think was the biggest difference between the five star corner cormani mcclain and the one star corner deandre beasley jr all right with that being said i hope you two enjoyed this video be sure to leave this video a like comment down below any other positions you guys want to see me cover next in the five service one star series and be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you never miss any of the fire videos that we drop and all the college football recruiting news that we drop on the channel and with all that being said i love and appreciate all y'all and i will catch you guys in the next video ciao